I'm Assad Ahmed. As you may have heard in the past 10 minutes or so, we've been filming undercover and discovered hundreds of minicab drivers may be working fraudulently in London after buying qualifications. We've exposed college che colleges cheating tests which drivers have to sit to get a licence. As a result, Transport for London says it'll immediately investigate nearly 2,000 applications. Here's a clip from our film. I did a test for you. Okay. That's why you pay in 500 pounds. If anyone phones, you just have to say the three days course. Mm -hmm. We've done over 300 students. Well, don't go tell your people. No, no, I don't. Someone does the test for no, you. No, no, I don't. You've been writing your qualifications for cash. You've got your secret recorded doing it. Why have you been doing it? Not me. It's not you? No. So who is it that we've got secretly recorded? Not me. Well, let's get more on this from our investigations reporter, Guy Lynn, who uncovered the fraud. And Guy, that particular bit of filming took place uh, in Canning Town in East London. Is that the only place where this is happening? Uh, short answer, no. Um, the fear is, I think, that this is the tip of the iceberg. And we've been hearing reports, we've received reports of uh, uh, alleged fraud in, in other places. And we now know that uh, as a direct result of BBC London's investigation, TfL have said that they've put on hold a staggering nearly 2,000 applications. Transport for London putting on hold new yeah, 2,000 applications. Yeah. Uh, at the top of Transport for London sits the Mayor of London. Has he personally said anything about your investigation? Well, absolutely. Buck stops with him and I asked him what his reaction was to BBC London's investigation. This is a very serious uh, breach and TfL will be taken very seriously. This is a criminal offence. Uh, no operator or driver, driver will, be, will re receive a licence unless uh, TfL can be assured uh, that rules are being followed. Surely our evidence shows that there, there are very big problems in this licensing process and you should presumably be doing something about it yourself, surely? Me as the mayor wants to make sure that TfL is uh, applying the rules fairly. And he's a regulator, a regulator that applies the toughest rules of any city in the world. So it sounds like the mayor's committed to clamping down uh, on this uh, issue. But um, as far as the people are, who are caught with these fraudulent qualifications, what happens to them? Well, obviously, Transport for London are those that issue the, the licences, as uh, Sadiq Khan was saying.